Hi everyone, welcome back to Swiss Home Garden, Chitra here. In this video, I will be taking you along a tour of Switzerland in miniature and be giving you a little glimpse of Swiss history and its culture along the way. Let's begin this tour. Our journey starts at Rheinfalls where this awesome museum is located. The museum is called Smile Stones and it is about 10 minutes walk from Rheinfalls. Rheinfalls, as you know, is Europe's biggest waterfall. The height of this waterfall is 23 meters and width is 150 meters. It's also one of the most popular tourist attractions. The museum right now has only three cantons of Switzerland on display. I guess they will be adding on the remaining cantons in future. There are 26 cantons in Switzerland. The first canton we will be seeing is Appenzeller land. Appenzeller land is a small and hilly canton close to St. Gallen and Austrian and German border. My husband's ancestors are from this place. So our family still holds its domicile as up and sell. This part of Switzerland is actually very beautiful and still has the old Swiss charm and landscape. But that's not all. This place is also very special in its history. The canton has a very flat hierarchy and traditionally run by small farmers. They have a very unique way of voting. Till 1991, they did not even have ballot paper for elections. What they did was all the men folk gathered in the town square and voted by raising their hands. Till 1991, only men had the vote. The women were also present during these election days. These up and seller women were strong and they made sure that the elections went according to their wish. There were many attempts by the rest of Switzerland and also within the same canton the women trying to get the vote but it was very unsuccessful because of this system this canton had. Finally in 1991 by the decree of the Supreme Court the women got the vote. Appenzell is also famous for its cheese and colorful buildings in the town center. Switzerland is well connected with its public transportation system like the trains, buses, trams and even some boats. You will be seeing a lot of little model trains running around the whole museum. This is not really a model train museum because there is also a lot of cultural aspect to this museum. All the buildings in this miniature museum is copied from actual existing buildings in Switzerland. The highest peak on Appenzeller land is Saintis. Saintis is 2500 meters above sea level and it is quite close to the Lake Constance region and the highest point in the Appenzeller Alps. It's also exposed to a lot of weather conditions that it is not uncommon that you will find snow during summer months too. This is the town square where the elections are being conducted. Let's move on to the next canton that is Schaffhausen. Rhine Falls is located in canton Schaffhausen and Schaffhausen is in the eastern part of Switzerland. The river Rhine is the biggest river in Switzerland and it starts its journey from Lake Toma all the way to the Netherlands ending its journey in the North Sea. We are now passing by some typical countryside scenes, some boating, some swimming along the lake, some campgrounds and such. The yellow bus that you see in this background is a post auto and this is the mode of transport for out of city limits in Switzerland.
This here is a wedding scene in the countryside and on the way you will also encounter some cute little farms. Look at the detail in all these little figurines and they are all just placed at the right spot and it is really very exciting to see all these little details. We were a little bit unprepared so I didn't take my camera with me on this day and all the footage I have over here is shot through the phone so just a little bit unsteady especially when I was trying to zoom in and also there was a lot to view we couldn't really focus on one place and the time was short. This is a fun event which takes place in many parts of Switzerland. It's called Seifekister Rennen, translated into English as Soapbox Race. It's also known as a go-kart race where these wagons are non-motorized and they are made with four wheels. Because it's non-motorized, this is a downhill race. In the meantime, it's not just for children, it's also for bigger children and it, these wagons have gotten very sophisticated. As we pass by these farms, you also see a mechanized figure cutting the wood. You can activate this by pressing a button. This over here is the highest railway bridge in Switzerland and located in the Sitter Ravine. Over time, there is this river Sitter which has eroded the rock around St. Gallen area forming this ravine. And this is the tallest railway bridge measuring 99 meters. Let's move on to one of the most beautiful towns in Switzerland called Stein am Rhein. This town is known for its well-preserved half-timbered houses with their painted facades. You see some day-to-day -day activities in this town square. We visited this museum on two separate occasions. The first time was around Christmas holidays when we had a guest and we just loved it so much we decided to visit it again in mid-February.
transition between day and night is so well planned and timed that you see in the background the trains also passing and how each light goes on in these buildings. We are now slowly moving to the city centre of Schaffhausen. Schaffhausen city is in the most northern part of Switzerland and it's also famous for its historic old town with 171 oriel windows and 12 guild houses. It's also a beautiful place to walk around. Recently I shared a photo of this town in my Instagram stories. Follow me along in Instagram where I regularly post pictures of Switzerland and important events. Link is below in the description box. Some of the footage is from the Christmas decor and after that you also see some change in the decor. This footage was around Christmas and the town square has a Christmas market. Now this is the same town square with the spring and summer market. Most towns and cities in Switzerland have a weekly or a bi-weekly market. We are now passing the railway station of Rheinfalls. As we move along, we see some more vineyards and this famous castle called Munno, which is a circular 16th century fortification in the center of city Schaffhausen. This is surrounded by vineyards and serves as the city's symbol. This cable car is exclusively for the vineyard. Let's move on to Berner Oberland which you know is famous for all the mountain peaks like Jungfrau, Mönch, Eiger, Grindelwald, Matterhorn to name a few. This is the steepest train making its journey to the highest village in Berner Oberland called Muren. This village lies at the foot of Shilton Peak, about 1650 meters above sea level. The Shilton Peak is famous for its revolving restaurant which is also featured in one of the Bond films. And around here are the other parts of Berner Oberland called Lauterbrunnen and then we move on to Interlaken. You see over here, this is a whole festival and this is a famous folks festival called Schwingerfest in Switzerland. And you see the different scenes of Schwingerfest. Schwingerfest is a wrestling match. 
This match takes place between summer and autumn and the rules of it is like this. The match takes place in a ring with a diameter of 12 meters that is covered fully with sawdust. The opponents will be wearing a short pant made with jutes over the regular clothes. The match is won when the winner holds the opponent's jute pants with at least one hand and both the shoulders should be touching the ground. The tradition is that, that the winner should brush off the sawdust from the loser's back at the end of the match. The famous Interlaken area from where you can get to the mountain peaks of Jungfrau, Eiger, Mönch. Look at this wedding scene where the groom is running away. There were a lot of such little humorous scenes all over the displays. Now, what would Switzerland be without its chocolates? And here is a Lindt chocolate factory. You actually get the real chocolate by pressing a button over here. Then over here, a shooting gallery. It's not uncommon to see shooting gallery in many parts of Switzerland like in the villages. And even in this miniature, the target was actually moving. I just couldn't get a good footage. Then you also see a construction site. You could actually activate some of these painters and other workers on this site. This river is River Are. Now you just follow this truck along. You can even see that it starts to indicate when it is switching the lanes. And slowly we reach the end of our tour and returning back to Rheinfels. If you ever visit Switzerland and happen to be in Rheinfels area, I would suggest that you take a tour of this cute little museum and add at least about 3 hours extra to your schedule. 
They have exciting prices for families. For a family, two adults and two kids, it's about 58 Swiss francs. For an adult, single ticket is 19 Swiss francs. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. I post one new video every week on food from scratch, Swiss country living, gardening and natural recipes. I'm looking forward to hearing your comments. Until next time, bye-bye.